I am not going to lie. I'm trying to be quiet because Abby's asleep. It is two o'clock in the afternoon. And um, this morning was really, really hard, overwhelming, stressful. <sighs> so I've been kind of decompressing in here, um, editing day two. <laughs> um, so we had a good night last night, um, getting up and feeding her. We're getting in more of a rhythm. So we had a decent night getting up to feed, get her medicine. We didn't feed her anything. We just gave her medicine, water, and then filled up her ice bags and tucked her back into bed. Right before her morning medicine, I was waking up and trying to decide when we needed to go and leave for her post-op appointment with her surgeon over at Children's Hospital. I was getting ready. I was up and I was getting ready and Jason was getting ready for work and I was kind of keeping an eye on the map time frame, like the traffic and how long it would take us to get there to determine when I needed to wake Abby up and when we needed to leave. Because right when I woke her up, we would need to give her medication, give her some water, get her dressed. I think she probably just wore what she had to bed. And so I was getting ready all of a sudden, the time from to get to the hospital went from an hour, which I was, I was allotting for an hour in my time frame, And all of a sudden it went to an hour and a half <laughs> with traffic. It was a torrential downpour all morning, all day that we were out driving. Um, and so I had to quickly like tell Jason, I'm not ready. I didn't even have <laughs> half my clothes on my hair wasn't done I wasn't necessarily worried about like looking cute by any means but I hadn't I, I wasn't ready to walk out the door I had to get a pillow for her to sleep in the car I had to fill up her ice bags we had to give her medicine um, morning he had a meeting with a rep I think you need to call him tell him you're gonna be late and so we had to frantically get Abby up give her her medication I had to run around and get all these other things fill up her ice bag um, and dash over to the hospital and it fully took us an hour and 20 minutes to fight traffic to get over there. Met with the surgeon. He thinks she's healing really, really well. I didn't film any of it because that's, she just was very weak and very lightheaded a majority of the drive and the majority of the time at the hospital. Um, we had her in a wheelchair for most of the time we were walking around. Um, going to get x-rays and then going back to the den like the dental office at the hospital um, to talk with the surgeon and then she um, he removed the elastics that hold her jaw in place and then she got to brush her teeth which is just crazy you guys if you fully understood well I'll show you the x-rays I'll show you the I, sh I think I showed it at the beginning but there's a lot of metal and there's a lot of incisions and you can't really even see the incisions her incisions go from all the way around her whole chin is a new chin placement so you can see the pins in her chin and then she has a full cut across the top of her the roof of her mouth and that is put into place where the jaw the new jaw placement is so to watch her like when he released the rubber bands she was like oh like you hear like her whole body just like breathe and I felt so bad and then to watch her brush her teeth and see her jaw move he let her like have her mouth open it's insane you guys it's insane knowing what they did and that her jaw can actually function right now there's a lot of things holding it in place um there's a a, a retainer across the top of her mouth. I think I've explained a little bit of this um, that connects and holds everything together that was cut apart before, like during surgery. And then there's a whole elastic band that goes across all of her braces, connects to the two brackets on the corners. I, I, I can't fully explain some of it because she doesn't want us to film her, but she has like this really strong, almost plastic tape, like bandage tape. Um, holding her chin together Lit quite literally from the outside holding her chin in place 
there's incisions inside holding it in place and pins. Um, but this outside tape is holding, it goes from around here and then it tapes up across here. Um, it's holding it in place and um, that comes off tomorrow when she gets to shower tomorrow. <sighs> so she got to brush her teeth without toothpaste because they don't want her to have to rinse. And then they put the elastics back on and the doctor doesn't want me to have to put those on. He's like, it was really hard for me to put them on. Um, so I'm not going to make you do that. Um, so we scheduled an happy about the progress happy about her swelling like n lack of swelling it actually started to swell up it was almost like I wonder if the x-ray and opening her mouth and taking off the elastic actually started some of the swelling I don't know because suddenly her cheeks right here were kind of kind of puffing up a little bit but she looks really good but then coming home it was faster it was only a half hour drive to come home rental poor downpour there's part of the highway that's closed so I had to find a new way home she was just nauseous the whole way home we didn't get a chance to feed her before we left and so they gave us some apple juice to give her while we were in the office um because she like almost passed out and oh, so then when we got home i'm gonna try and see if i can prop you up oh we can put you on i don't want to go out there because i don't want Abby to hear me can't put you on taylor she had look at that she's just filled her entire taylor bucket with um bees so i'm not fitting beaded bracelets i should say we'll do this and then I'll scoot back. Oh, see, I still have this on me. Okay, so we're done with that hospital visit. We got home and I had um, stopped at the mailbox. It was, again, torrential downpour. I had stopped at the mailbox to grab the mail so it didn't get wet. I had a whole bunch of packages for Christmas that were showing up. <sighs> and she almost threw up. She was so nauseous, she almost threw up. She didn't. Um, and then we got her home. And for whatever reason, none of the stupid syringes and the rubber hose straw thingies that attach, none of them would suck up any of the acetaminophen that she was due for. And I needed to get it in her. She was due for it. She was hungry. She was thirsty. And it spilled all over the counter, all over me. <laughs> I was so frazzled and I'm here by myself doing it and I finally got that. I finally got her medicine and some water and some muscle milk and then I made her a breakfast drink which she texted me while I'm standing there. I would like a breakfast drink please. And she's been in bed since. <laughs> so happy. So she's been in bed asleep. Hopefully she's been asleep for two hours. I texted her about 20 minutes ago asking if she was okay. She hasn't responded. This is 10 minutes in. Sorry, but this is just my life right now. I didn't really want to bring you along the stressful part of it because she was right behind me. So I'm decompressing. Um, I've had lunch. Well, I've had one meal today. I did not have breakfast. I had lunch <laughs> at one o'clock. I had it an hour ago and I am going to edit day three while I have some quiet. Abby is due for medicine probably about 20, 30 minutes. I'm going to make sure I have that ready to go when she gets up or when she doesn't. I'm going to just take it up to her and then um, and some more food and drink um, for her and then kind of have a kerfuffle of event. I have to have Chelsea taken to a choir concert that I can't attend. And on my way to taking Ashley, I'll take Chelsea to her choir concert. Jason has to dash home, which given how bad traffic was this morning, he's got to leave early. So I've got to call him and tell him he's got to leave early to get home in time to go to Chelsea's choir concert and pick her up and bring her home because Kaylee is at work. Obviously, Abby can't. And I do not want Abby here alone for very long at all. And so she'll be fed. Well, no, that's the other thing is that she's due for medicine. It's just a lot. I don't know whose device is... <laughs> going off not going off on my phone it's just hard to time it all it's just i need her fed and her medicine but chelsea has a concert ashley has cheer in a different city <laughs> that I have to take her to. And so the only thing that I'm looking forward to in all of that is Cafe Rio has four times the points today and I have a $10 reward. So I'm gonna go get myself $4 salad and earn four times the point and take it to cheer with Ashley and sit in the parking lot and maybe cry, I don't know. <laughs> give my dad an update, eat my salad and wait for her to be done with cheer because it's just not worth fighting traffic to come back home and then back and back and back and back because Jason will be here taking care of Abby. It just is a lot. I'll bring you on part of that. This is already long. I just feel bad that these last two days of videos, it's just been kind of silence and just you guys watching kind of, you know, these silent little clips of what we've been doing and trying to
Okay, she just texted me. She's, just, she's awake, so I'm gonna go get her medicine ready and get her something to eat. I accidentally poured the Shakeology Strawberry Tropical Delight into her breakfast drink <laughs> from the fridge. So I gotta go fix that and get her some lunch. I don't know what you call her meals anymore because they're not really anything. It's just sustenance. <laughs> All right, I just asked her if she wants some warm ramen broth. That's what I had for lunch. Um, but before I had ramen, I had half a cucumber, some cottage cheese, and some berries. And then I had the ramen, and I saved the ramen broth for her. So, um, really quick, I can't really do justice. Um, I'm, I will try to film the um, floral cards that, <laughs> that you guys sent, and I'm trying to get it straight in my hood who sent what, but I'm... I'm not going to do it justice. Just know, like at one point, the cards were with the person, like the names were all together, and I knew who it was from, but we got a ton of cards in the mail um, while we were gone. Um, went and picked them all up yesterday. Um, so, I, I just, so much, you guys, so much. Um, I think all these cute little um, floral cards came from Lynn. Lynn, I don't know how to say your last name. Pena, maybe? Um, I'll have to show you those later when Abby doesn't feel like I'm intruding on her space. They're in her bedroom. They're absolutely stunning. And then I also got these cute little Hawaiian um, stickers from Lynn as well. Um, we've gotten Christmas cards from some of you. Um, this one here I think is from Tanya. Or Tanya. I know she said something about her, the saint, or the how to pronounce your name before. No, I can't remember. I'm so sorry. But I got cards. I've gotten other gifts in the mail. I got a, a fun little attachment, this instruction to my windshield. I'm, I'm still gotta figure out how to attach it. I can't really, um, my camera is not my phone. And so I've gotta figure out if there's another attachment. I can't attach it to this. My camera, it does connect to this. Um, but the angle is wrong from my windshield. Um, this does bend. It's a little shark tank invention. Um, but I gotta figure that out. But just know that, like, um, I did get it. And, um, I am gonna figure it out. Because I would love to be able to just hook my camera up and be able to drive. I know that's obviously safer. So, just know that, like, I got your cards. I'm getting more of them. Waiting on a package from someone else today. Um... So thank you, and uh, it really means a lot. Um, Christmas cards, cards for, Ab oh, Abby got a ton of cards. Um, she got a gift card for Starbucks, I don't remember. She was, I let her just open whatever she wanted to. Whatever she was in the mood for, I just let her open them. Some of them I think were meant to be opened, what, a day at a time? Like all the, the uh, floral ones. Um, she's like, I need it now. I need it now. I need to see all of them, so. They're all on display in her bedroom, and uh, rightfully so, they're hers. See, this, this is gonna be a long video now, but this is, um, this is the ambiance I needed to have. The Christmas is done, like, literally. Like, when I was stressed this morning when we came home, I knew I just needed to clean everything up, put her in bed, get her medicine, get her ice, and then we could have the quiet of this. And it's, I'm so glad that I did all that other stuff. Um, I'm glad that I'm kind of a planner and a preparer because I don't know if I could handle the mental load of Christmas right now. It's like, I do not think I could handle, if I didn't have Christmas done, if I didn't have Christmas decorated, if I didn't have a tree up, if I didn't have Christmas presents bought, I have sorted them into each kid and I'm waiting for a day when Jason is off and we can wrap them and be done with it, put them under the tree. I don't know what I would do right now with the overwhelming feelings that I've been having just today alone if that stuff wasn't done. So kudos to myself. I didn't know how overwhelming this was going to be for myself. It's way more for Abby and she's not responsible for any of that stuff by any means, but like Hallelujah. <laughs> <Bun> is <laughs> not letting me lean back. 
I have been sitting here at Ashley's chair. She is inside practicing. I actually had to run in and go to the bathroom because I've had Coke and um, water um, while I've been sitting here. I also ate only half of my Cafe Rio salad. Either I will eat that the rest of it tomorrow for lunch or Kaylee will. I think I'll just end it with you because there's nothing else going on. So Abby, she's doing really good. Jason came home from work. It actually took him longer. It took him a really long time to get home from work, but it took more time to sit on the off ramp at our exit and then from there to get home than it did for him to get all the way from our store to our house. Go figure. This rain, I don't know. We're used to rain here. I don't know why it's adding to the traffic so badly on a Tuesday night, Tuesday morning, Tuesday afternoon. I've been driving all day, but it is. It's, I don't know. It's just kind of chaotic out there but um so he got home to get something to eat i put something in the air fryer for him to eat when he got home he quickly ate that checked in with abby i had given her meds she had actually fed herself um some food um chocolate drink of some kind i don't know what kind it was um and then fed herself the medicine for her 6 p.m dose so progress that she um still can't like her mouth is still numb to an extent. Um, so it's still kind of hard to like wiggle those little straws into her mouth and make sure it's actually going into her mouth and not gonna squirt out the other side. Um, sometimes she looks in the mirror. Um, sometimes she just kind of is feeling it or whatever, but she was able to feed herself today and that's progress that she was able to like just be downstairs. Um, she sat down, luckily. She's just had a lot of dizzy moments, a lot of nauseous moments today. Um, I think I missed giving her, I don't know, I think I meant, I think Jason gave it to her. I think she got her dose this morning, but there's one medication that she needs with the ibuprofen because of how much ibuprofen she's taking. It does kind of hit your gut a little bit, I think. And so almost positive she got that medication this morning, but maybe she didn't. And that's why she's kind of had a hard time. time. So she will be getting that at 9 p.m. to make sure she stays on that. Jason's back at home after Chelsea's concert. So he went, took Kay Rabby at home, went to Chelsea's concert, picked her up, took Chelsea home, and has been home since. So we're just gonna end it with you. The elastics have already popped out. <laughs> And, and the doctor even, it took him 10 minutes to put them in with all of his like dental tools, you know? And he's like, don't worry about it, Dana. Like if they pop out, I'm, I don't think he expected them to pop out like hours later, but they did. And he's like, I think she'll be okay. Cause he, he asked if she wanted them in to begin with um, or if she could, um, I think a lot of it is just not over opening. And she's like, I ain't doing that. Um, so anywho, I think it's still hard. She's told Jason tonight she's getting a lot of nerve sensation, like pings, nerves, um, to, from the nerves. Um, they're really irritating. Um, if you remember from my surgery, we called them lightning bursts <laughs> of nerves. You can imagine where those nerve endings were. <laughs> it's an odd sensation. For me, it was an odd sensation. It wasn't necessarily painful. It's a very odd sensation, but it's just, it is what it is. Um, but she's getting that inside her mouth, which is kind of a good sign that like it's already happening And I wish it had happened so I could have told the surgeon that because it can actually take months to get the nerve sensation back um, from this surgery like months and so the fact that she's already getting that nerve pulse um, sensation uh, is actually a good sign. It's just there's nothing you can do for that kind of, I would call it an irritation. It's not necessarily a pain, although it probably would hurt a little bit when that's happening all around her incisions. So she's got a long road ahead. Um, she's pretty independent. So now that she's actually functioning, standing upright and walking around, I can see that she's wanting to do things more herself and not have her mother and father feed her. <laughs> everything but she also needs to just take it slowly and she tried to drink out of a straw tonight um and she's like yep nope can't make that motion to open close and suck she's like i'm good i don't need to do that so <laughs> anyway progress um maybe when i pick up the camera next it'll just be we'll kind of take the focus away from her let her kind of heal um and not have so much attention on her for these videos and let her take some time um, to just heal, I'll give you updates that she's doing good or she's not doing good if something drastic happens, but let her kind of recover. Um, 
on her own time versus like me talking about it here with you guys. So I need to rest for the cup next couple days and go for walks when it's, whether it's raining or not, I need to go for walks and get greenery for my Christmas party. Isn't that fantastic? If it's raining for the next three days, I'll have to go in the rain. So that's the only thing I have to do in the next four days. So I'm gonna sleep, I'm gonna rest, I'm gonna watch movies. I am going to stay home. That's it. That's what I'm going to do. So take care and I will be back with you when I'm back with you. Thanks for supporting Abby and, and giving her your love. Um, we really appreciate it. Um, and we will see you guys next time. Good night.